Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first face off on the channel, and we are having two creators boxing each other live on Misfits with a lot on the line, including a Misfits boxing tournament, both representing their countries as Argentina versus the Philippines. Please welcome Argentina King versus Tasmanian Devil. Perfect. Now that you guys are both here, right? I want to hear you guys' uh, thoughts since you guys are both, you know, digitally facing off right now currently. All right, let me yeah. let me go off first, yeah? So, mm -hmm. first of all, I actually, look, besides this trash talk, that's all part of the game. Like, I genuinely like Argentinian King. But mm -hmm. like I said, this is just business. We're in the hurt business, and yes. we just come here, you know, to fight. But, so at the end of the day, it's nothing personal for me. It's only business. But I generally like him. I mean, like, his story is also great, similar to mine. You know, we came from really just, you know, like, it's humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. And he's he's sacrificing everything for, for a dream that he believes that, you know, can, can come to fruition once this opportunity comes. Um, similar to me, like, I'm just taking every single thing, like, uh, the opportunity, and I'm making the most of it. And mm -hmm. so I admire him for that, you know. Um, like I said... And he's also technically good. So looking at the rankings, right? I, I hey, was how looking at who that, was. How do you know that? What's that? How do you know that I'm technically good? Hey, man, I see you. I see you. Come on. I I've been doing my homework. All right. D don't watch that. So, All right. So I was looking, right? So you have Ray Mu. Like, I really like Ray Mu. Um, like, he's really good technically as well. Uh, there's, there's other guys in there as well, like Joey Knight. Like we've talked in before in the previous interview, Joey Knight, mm. and obviously Waleed Sharks is the number one contender. And mm. probably since Dean is going to be going out now, right? Yeah. So I would say Waleed Sharks is the number one guy. Like he is technically the champion. Mm -hmm. You think about it, right? But um, like I was actually really happy when I got matched with the Argentinian King because I thought I would be matched with Waleed Sharks. Right, so mm -hmm. I was happy about that as well. But when I got matched with um, Argentinian King, I said it's not going to be a boring fight because it's going to be like he's a creator, right? Yeah. And so am I. But yeah. we also have deep background and long background in boxing, so it's not going to be a you know a mismatch, or it's not going to be a fight that isn't going to be entertaining. Somewhat, you know what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, I, so I was really happy about that. So. Like I said, his style is perfect against my style. And I know when we match, it's going to be fireworks. I For mean, sure. I want to hear your thoughts. Too, I don't know about that. Because mm -hmm. my style, I mean, I have a lot of tools, so I can adapt to anything. So you don't know what I'm going to use. I, I can go forward, I can box. So we'll see how I feel on the ninth, and then we'll see what I use. But I want to have a boring fight. I just want to go for it and break your neck. I mean, it's nothing personal. I mean, um, like I say, I respect your hustle and, you know, uh, all your journey and everything. So there's no hard feelings. But when the night comes, I want to break your night because this is a hair business. All so. right, man. That's, yeah. what, that's what I'm looking forward to. I, I want to see that. I, I want you to keep that same energy and come fight now, yeah? That, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm really preparing for that. Because like I said, when I come in there, I'm not, whatever your past is, I don't really know much about your past. But I'm expecting the best Argentinian king there is. Yeah, and same. that's what I'm preparing for. Make sure you're ready. Make sure you prepare. Um, come a hundred percent because I want to. I want the best version of yourself, and uh, right, I'm gonna take care of it. I'll make sure that, uh, you know, we shall I'll, see. I'll we shall see. What's that? We we will see. We will see about that. All right. How's training? I'm going. All good. Oh, good, man. Oh, good. What about you? I hope there's no, there's no injuries or anything, man. I'm praying for you to, to actually be there. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Um, it's been all smooth so far, so good. So, you mm -hmm. know, I'll get better. So this is my thing, though. The, the, for me, it's not like a weight loss camp. Although I'm a big boy, um, I'm basically walking around five-week weight. So I don't got to, like, worry about it. So all this training camp, I've been focusing on getting better uh, and working on my tools and stuff like that. So, you know, I'll be ready. So don't worry about it. Yeah. All right, man. It
And on, on that note too, right? Uh, I know that you know Argentine King has done a lot of shit talking throughout the internet, and I, I want to ask you, Tasmanian Devil, uh, since your opponent's literally right here, what what is one word that you want to describe him right now? The Argentinian King. Um, I, I don't really know much about him like that, so I wouldn't mm. be able to just not describe him with one word. But if I could say one thing, it's just um, massacre. Massacre. That's the word I'm- I will massacre him. That's it, man. All right. And then, you know, uh, same question to you, Argentine King. Or, yeah, same question to you, Argentine King. What What is one word that, you know, you want to describe your opponent right here? I'd say I, I'm going to be nice, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna be nice. So I'll say hard work. I respect uh, his hustle, you know, all the weight mm-hmm. loss journey and how he overcome depression and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I take my hat off to him. Um, but again, when the night comes... I'm looking just for break your fucking neck. That's all I'm looking for. So, you know, I'm a nice guy, but at the same time, I'm just looking forward to punish him and punch him in the face and get the dub because I really need it. The difference between probably most of them, I, I'm not going to say like Taz because I know his background and uh, I know how bad he needed, but I I want it really bad, but I also need it really bad. So mm-hmm. I, I put in everything on the line in this training camp. And in this fight, because uh, I changed my life for this. I was in Melbourne like three weeks ago. I, I quit my job and I moved here to America to do the training camp uh, with my coach and everything. So I changed my life and I put everything on the line. I mean, for me, I'm from Argentina, right? So yeah. it's a lovely country and, you know, uh, I love my country, but uh, the economy is terrible. So we have to look for different uh, for you know, for a future. So that's what I left my country. And everything that I've been uh, creating for the past four years since I left Argentina, I'm putting everything on the line. Because if I lose this fight, I'm coming back to Argentina where everything started in 2020. So I'm not gonna let that to take away my dream and everything that I work for. So for me, this is like not just a lifetime opportunity, but it's also something that I really need. So. You know, that's what I'm taking it serious, and I'm here in America preparing like a true champion. Alrighty, and you know, I want to um ask you, Argentina King, right? Uh, what should people kind of expect of your Misfits debut heading into the first round? Uh, a lot of entertainment. I'm not gonna go there and box and move and fuck around. I'm just going to straight forward and like to break his neck. I want to take his head off. So mm-hmm. that's what I'm gonna do and. Yeah, it's going to be a, a firework. It's going to be a war. Mm-hmm. Same thing with you, Tasmanian Devil. I mean, that's it, man. As I say, my, my native tongue, Gera, that's that's all I want. It means war, right? That's It's going to be fireworks. It's going to be war. It's not... Look, if you know anything about Filipino fires is that we don't run. We come right through the fire, right? We bring it. We bring that fight to you. So that's what I'm going to bring. Um, it's going to be fireworks And like I said I just want entertaining fights as well That's why when I got matched up with the Argentina King I was like This guy This guy's got a bit of fire You know I like mm-hmm. it And I know he ain't yeah. going to be backing out it, it, Like mm-hmm. there's, there's You know Other guys And American fighters are getting You know um, Criticised right now Because of the way they fight You know It's kind of like They don't want to get hit Like Naoya you know, you said right mm-hmm. Like the, the American style of fighting It's like they don't want to get hit but um, you see that a lot in boxing now. You know, the game is changing, but it's nice to have those throwback fighters, the classic fighters, you know, the, the wars. It's nice to actually have those um, type of fights. And I feel like me and, uh, me and the Argentinian king could deliver that. I mean, if he's up to it, you know, we can go to war. I'll be there. Don't worry about it. I'll wait yeah, for you in the thing. And I actually, when I get punched in the face, I like to get punched in the face. It's kind of sexy for the girl. So <laughs> if you can bruise me up a little bit. I've been looking for someone to that can bruise me up, and I haven't found it yet. So hopefully you are the guy, but I don't think so. Uh, we'll see, though. But if you can bruise me up a little bit, so then when I come to the after party, I can get, you know, a nice um, UK girl. I'm all for it. Bruce me up, baby. Okay, man. Okay. Look, man. Mm-hmm. If that's what gets you on, I, I'm I'm gonna piece your face up then. I'll be there. No worry about it. Mm-hmm. Now you know. Question to both of you, right? Did you guys really expect this matchup in the first round? 
I know Argentine King, you really want a Yeti gang, but you know, now that the first round is against Tasmanian Devil, is this the match that you really expect for the first round? Not really. I mean, I, I always wanted uh, Yuri Gang. Uh, I'm actually going to Nashville next week to see him in person and see how, how good he is. Mm -hmm. um, but it's what it is. I mean, if you if you want to win the tournament, you got to like face all of them. So yeah. I, I didn't really care. If I if I had to choose, I wanted the best, and the best was uh, Yuri Gang. That's mm -hmm. what they were saying. I mean, I don't know. But um, I mean, it's going to be an entertaining fight, fight either way. So... I'm happy to be match up with uh, Taz, and as long as he comes prepared and you know he he he's ready for a war, then uh, I'm happy. Yeah, same same goes to you, Tasmanian Devil. Um, like I said, like previously, I expected it to be Walid Sharks. Um, he was the number one, so I thought I was going to be matched up with him, and he was the one I was really looking forward to, so I can make a statement. You know, he is the 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 second best guy in the division, so to speak. And I really wanted him. But like I said, this is, we're new guys. Me and uh, me and Argentina King is, you know, making our debut. And we have to kind of work our way up. So I do understand that. Um, So, like, I accepted that. But whoever it may be, I was prepared for anyway. Like, whether it be, like, the new guys or the top guys, doesn't really bother me. Mm -hmm. Not totally fair. And, and you know... um. I want to ask, uh, ask how's I mean devil as well on this, right? Why should people kind of have you winning in the first round against your opponent? First round or the fight? The fight, sorry. Yeah, why should people have you winning the fight? Um, look, it doesn't really matter what people think. If I, if I come in there like as an underdog, it, it won't bother me. If I come in there as a favorite, it won't mm -hmm. bother me. Like my mind is on winning. And just fighting, like giving my best. I know what I can do and what I bring to the table. Um, that's like I'm confident in my own abilities and nothing phases me like that. I, I don't keep myself preoccupied with people's opinions like that. Yeah. But like I said, once once people start seeing training, the fire, like look, people see talent, right? People yeah. see skill. And no matter how hard you can hit, no matter how tough you may think you are, when you're in the ring, skills is what pays the bills. Mm -hmm. Totally fair. And, and you know, uh, to Argentinian King, right? You know, after hearing that, why should people uh, have you winning the fight as well? I mean, I don't expect people having me as a favorite because, you know, they haven't seen anything yet. And uh, mm -hmm. so they haven't seen me fight and they haven't seen me spar. <laughs> you can't take much uh, of, a, you know, a training video hitting the bag or hitting the pads you can't take anything from it honestly so you know uh it's whatever um so i don't really care i know i know what i got i know my tools uh, i believe in myself i believe in my coach i think i truly have like the best coach in the world he's a former olympian he's number 12 in the world wba international champion um so i'm learning a lot from him from him and, uh, yeah, I believe in what I got, in all my tools, not just myself, but my coach, my training camp and everything. And, you know, I, I know that I'm I know that i a great fighter and I'm going to showcase that on, on finite. And then after I get the win, I'll be the favorite in the tournament, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and, you know, to kind of follow up about your camp, right? You know, you said that, I, I believe you said that you, uh, you're, you moved to Miami for this camp? Yeah, I'm actually, how? Sorry, you cut out. What'd you say? Uh, I'm in West Palm Beach, Florida, which is like two hours away from Miami. Oh, okay. I, and I want to ask, you know, making those sacrifices, right? You know, you're training with you said the you know the WBA coach and everything like that. How how's that all going overall, too? If you can um, if you can say more about it. Oh, it's been great, man. It's been a great mm -hmm. experience. Um, I moved here like three weeks ago. Uh, mm -hmm. We. Are Together. So basically, I'm living with my coach, and he's an athlete, so he's in, in training camp basically as well. So I'm learning a lot from him, and uh, yeah, th it's like I don't know, like a, a great experience because it's hard to have like the chance to actually live with like a future world champion. So it's like going to school every day when you get up in the morning, right? So mm -hmm. 
say I get up in the morning and I go to a cold plunge and then um, I don't know I do whatever exercise I gotta do. Then I go to breakfast and then we go to a gym. We do this, we do that, and we we live as athletes. So it's you know learning every day and it's a great experience overall, not just for boxing but for my life. Uh, yeah. So it's grateful, man. Like it's it's been crazy, honestly. Mm -hmm. And you know to um, Tasmanian Devil, right? You know. How has camp been for you so far, kind of preparing yourself up for your Mrs. debut? I mean, like I said, it's been amazing. Like, this is, I've always been a hard worker, right? But to mm -hmm. just have the support by professionals, professional coaches, teams, physios, like everything that you really need, it's just been like overwhelming. And that's the, the support. I've, I've always had the talent, right? But I was just never really given the opportunity. Or, or like the support or the team that is needed in order to guide me to propel to the you know the bigger um you know stages in in boxing and now i actually have that platform and i'm just you know it's it's like a, it's a dream come true because yeah. i've always like i said i've always had a talent i knew i could be i could be great and become something big in this game but now i'm actually getting to live it and training camp has just been amazing like my, my untapped potential and skills that was always hidden underneath is kind of like just booming out, you know. So um, you'll see you like sure. something great, man. Like like I said, I, I'm always humble, but I know when to say it. Like I, I'm just special. Like the skills I possess, and you'll see that. You'll see that in the training camps. You'll see that in, in the fight. And look, man, I just can't wait to actually just put, go out there and just put on a show. Mm -hmm. Oh, one All last right. thing though, mm -hmm. like one last thing, because you was talking about like about me and Argentina and King not being like known, or like or like the underdogs, right? Uh, because he hasn't had a fight publicly, maybe, or and I only have like a few fights, but it, but it's not like shown out there. But I think that's an advantage toward, towards us, because once people actually get to see us fight, they they won't be expecting much because they don't know anything about him, they don't know anything about me. But once we actually yeah. come to fight. I mean, it's going to be amazing. And I feel you know, like the crowd will love it. Yeah, the question was like, what should people expect? Yeah, that's what that's what oh, I kind of yeah. asked when you said that. Yeah, yeah no, that's good, though. Um, what do you want to call? I want to I wanna ask you, Tasmanian Devil, right? I want to spice things up a little bit, right? You know, listen, you said it in the beginning, right? Argentine King's been talking a lot of shit. And on Twitter, right, he was tweeting saying, quote, Sunday day off, but studying Tasmanian devil footage so I can knock him out even faster with the photo. You know, I don't know. The photo is some TV show, right? That's you know, it. I, and devil. And I, yeah. And I, I mean, perfect. I didn't I didn't see I didn't see you respond to him on Twitter. And so now that he's here, what do you got to say about that? Well, I'm not always in Twitter. All right. So yeah, I don't actually like I just don't actually get to see a lot of these things. Yeah. But, no, no worries. Look, man, I, I, mm -hmm. you, you got the wrong ties. That's the cartoon. I'm the animal. That's the Taz that's the Tasmanian devil you're gonna be looking for. Cause cause I ain't not I ain't gonna be fun in games when I'm in there, right? It's gonna be an absolute like, I'm gonna come in there to rip your head off. Like if you've seen the Tasmanian devil, the way that how aggressive they are, how powerful and fast, that's me. So if you ain't coming prepared for that, it's gonna be a long night for you, come fight, man. Yeah, not gonna work, mate. I'm sorry for you. I'm actually sorry that you're gonna lose in the first round because I kind of like you. So, but you you, you I, can box back. Don't worry about it. I'll talk with moms afterwards. So <laughs> you give another opportunity. How about is, that? Is, How nice is this it, is this the speech you've been telling yourself every morning? Look, no. man, don't worry about it. Like I ain't gonna lose. Even if I lose, moms are gonna be kind enough to give me the opportunity. Hey, look, like I said, I <laughs> like you as well. Hold on, you have the. You know that you're gonna lose, and you're bringing that up. No, no, you, you said that. You said you just said that, like, don't worry, Taz. Like, if you lose, there's gonna be a better opportunity. Look, man, ain't no one thinking that I'm gonna lose. You're the only one that's unsure of yourself. I'm confident in myself. Everyone in you my just, team. You just said. You just said. Uh, even if I lose. Mom is gonna give me another opportunity, didn't you? No, no I, I was saying that that's what you say in the morning when you wake up to make yourself feel comfortable. No, 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 I'm not gonna lose. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Look, man, whatever happens, winning, losing, 
that ain't my mission. My mission is to take your head off. So if I don't take your head off, it don't count as a win for me. But best believe I'm going to get that. Yeah, it ain't going to work, though. So I don't know. You can, I, I was actually hey. thinking, like, because I'm a nice guy, right? I'm I'm really nice guy. So I was thinking, I was thinking about you. I'm like, if I were you, I wouldn't even go to training camp because you're gonna lose your time. You're gonna lose either way. So why would you like train every morning and like diet and everything? Just you know, don't lose your time, man. Like you can go and do another thing. You're gonna lose either way. So don't lose your time. That that's just an advice for you. So you you know, time is viable, right? So. You sh you should take that yourself though. You should take that because you're risking everything, but for something that you're gonna lose everything on, hey man. But that's up to you. It's your loss, not mine. But what I can say though is, what are you gonna do after this? Because you gotta think about the future, your future. Oh, like, I'm not talking about this fight. Like wh where is your goal going? Like where just after the misfits, where are you going? Yeah. So after I knock you out. Uh, I'm probably gonna go two weeks to Italy to eat some pasta and pizza. Um, yeah, and then uh, probably gonna come back to America for uh, the Copa America, which is Messi's playing and everything. And then probably back to training camp. So that's my goal. But yeah, after yeah. after I knock you out, I'm going to Italy, uh, eat some pizzas, get some girls, and yeah. All right, so, man. Well, you see, that's the difference between you and me. You're short sighted. You're coming here. After this and thinking Copa America, that's only a few weeks or a few months. I'm thinking after this Misfits, I'm going to go pro. And after going pro, I'm going to win world championships. That's my goal. So that's the difference between you and me. And I understand that you want to make this successful. You want to make money. But for me, this is just the beginning. And this is my destiny. And I see a quote. Uh, I, saw, I saw a post that you said that, you know, this is going to change your life. Look, man. I, I'm appreciative of this opportunity from Misfits, but I'm where I belong. I'm not changing my life. I'm just fulfilling my destiny. Mm -hmm. Don't be don't be delusional with yourself. Let's just be real. You're just going to go in there with me, right? You're going to lose. And then you'll bounce back. But you ain't going to be no pro fighter. You ain't going to be no world champion. I'm sorry, but that's <laughs> not happening. Okay, okay. I want you to record this and remember this day because three, four, five years time, you'll see. All right. Uh, you know, you know, Argentine King, right? You know, yeah. you see right behind there's a poster of, you know, uh, Messi and the Argentinian flag right there, right? You think he's secretly, um, he, you think something's up with that, by the way? Yeah, or I think. What, what do you think of that? Sure. Yeah, fun. What did he yeah, say? Messi. Mm -hmm. you're yeah, Tasmanian Devil, you you got Messi or Ronaldo? <laughs> no, I actually painted this. So I'm a, oh, I'm a fan. Of, yeah, I actually painted this in my painting. Um, no, I'm a fan of Messi. I'm a fan of Messi, man. I ain't afraid to say it. Like, but unfortunately, um, they just come from the same place. But <laughs> like, Messi's a, he's a, he's the goat. Right, I appreciate that. You know what? That's it. like uh, you're a wise man for saying that. <laughs> Very wise. Hey man, you you ain't messy. You ain't messy, bro. You ain't messy. Like I'ma mess you up on come fight night, but I mean that that's the goal right there. That's the goal right there. So, the goal, I'm the king. You ain't never okay. or have you? Hey, where did you get your name from, by the way? The Argentina king. I'm the the best looking guy in Argentina. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, all right, pretty boy. Yeah. Okay, boy. Yeah. Uh, I just didn't know where where you got it from. Like I thought you was like king of football. Like I didn't know. Like oh no, I was fucking around one day. So I, I used to live in LA, and before I launched my social media, so I was fucking around with my friends, and uh, they told me you should do a TikTok, and I'm like, sure, I should, and I'm like, what's gonna be my my nickname? And they were like, uh, where you are from Argentina? I'm like, yeah, the Argentinian king, and I type it up, and no one had it at the moment, so I'm like, all right, that's gonna be my name, and. Yeah, I'm the king now. Okay, man. All right, all right. I the see, king I see. going to be on the throne, so don't worry about it. You ain't taking me away from the throne. I, I, don't, I don't come from the throne or the crown. I only come from the head. I only come for the head. That's it. He'll be there. Don't worry about it. Oh, shit. All right. Tasmanian Devil, you think that's like a little... Um, 
you know, hearing that energy about him saying that he's a king and everything like that, you think that's like, you know, what is it? How do you how do you respond to that? You, do you not like how uh, cocky is coming into this, or is just what do you make of? I this mean, it's energy? entertaining. It's entertaining. Yeah. We would have mm-hmm. never gotten this opportunity if it wasn't somewhat of like an entertainer, right? Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. all part of the game. So I understand it. Like, I like it. It's fun. It makes you know. It makes the the preparation for it and the build up for it fun, and like people would want to watch it. So, I, but to be honest, like. I think that's just his personality. I don't think he's being cocky or anything like that. I think that's just him. Like, he's just a confident guy. And you need, you kind of need that, you know? Um, so it, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. Like, I don't take it personally. Like, he's the king, he's this and that. As for me, I'm a humble guy and um, there's only one king and that's God. That's for me. You know what? You're right. You're right with that. So God bless you, bro. And actually, I, like I say, I like you. So uh, maybe I can hook you up with some uh, sparring footage of myself so you can prepare better. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look, man. I, I ain't worried about nothing you bring to the table. But look, all, I, all my suggestion is for you, train your neck. Neck training. And I ain't talking about the neck training that you and your coach do in your house, in your car, wherever. I'm talking about real neck training because you're going to need a lot of support. Because if you ain't training your neck, that head's going to fly right off. Bro, you're going to punch air. And also, I'm going to let you punch him. Uh, punch me in the face. Because like I said, I want to I wanna get Bruce up for the after fight. So, uh, he's sexy, My head so don't just bruise, bro. So I need some bruises and stuff. So I'm going to let you punch me. But you got like pillow hands. So you ain't going to do shit. <laughs> and, um, so, okay, yeah. pillow hands. Yeah, some uh, sparring footage. So you can you prepare. See, see. I want the you best version. I just don't want you to go in there and be like, "What the fuck is this guy? He's so good." Just want I just want you to be ready. You know what I mean? So I'll send you some footage. If you are a warrior or something, let me know. Um, we can talk about it. So don't be <laughs> scared. Go in there, relax, have fun. Uh, you're gonna lose either way. So take it as what it is. You, your name, your name shouldn't be the Argentinian king. It should be the Argentinian Joker. You're a funny guy. You're a funny guy. Yeah, look, I'm going to give you that. But look, man, come fight night, like I said, just prepare for everything. Because I don't know how long you've been training or how long you've been boxing. I don't really know much about you. But I'll tell, I'll tell you. Huh? Um, like eight years or something, ten. Yeah, I've been doing it forever, bro. So, Okay, because I heard someone say like you've been doing it for like since you was five or something like that. Oh, no. Okay. Well, anyways, I hope you. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> so I. I just hope you're as good as you say you are. Because if you ain't, it's gonna be a long, long night for you. Alrighty. Uh, and... Yeah. No. Sorry. Oh no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Sorry. Yeah. No. It's definitely gonna be a long night. Because after I knock you out in one round, then I'm gonna enjoy the car, and then I'm going out to eat something and party a little bit. You can come with me if you want. <laughs> so yeah, it's hey, gonna be a- going to sleep after I knock you out. So I'll be hey, like I said, Jeez. like I said, I'm a nice guy. So when I get my knockout bonus, I'm gonna split that in half of you. That's a promise. Because I know, I know you spend a lot of money. I know you know you, you sacrifice everything, so you deserve a little piece of the pie. So when I cut, when I get that knockout bonus, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little bit, and I'm gonna share some with your coach too. I mean, he deserves that. Uh, after training you, I mean, he deserves that, man. All right. Who all is right. your coach, by the way? You huh? say he's a WBA. Who who is your coach, by the way? So yeah, you can bring the bell. Bring it in, baby. Um, he's a WB. So he's right with. No, me, I, I just don't know anything about your training or your team or anything. So. So he he's the WBA international champion. He's a former um. A former Olympian in Rio 2016. So, yeah, he's like literally the GOAT. And he, he's going to be world champion probably next year. Um, so, yeah, I'm learning a lot from him. So it's a great experience. Okay, so, man. I, so you're in, you're, you're in good hands then. Yeah. After that's I know that's what I want. And join our training camp so you can actually get better. Hey, look, I'll, man. T- tell your coach. Tell your coach in my next fight camp. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm gonna take him to my team, and he's he can be my sparring partner. 
<laughs> you know, actually, wait, can we get can we get his coach in there? Okay. Yeah, wait, Argentine King, can you get your coach in here for a quick question? Actually, would it yeah. be cool? All right, I was gonna say. Mm-hmm. Go, go ahead. Oh, is he coming right now? All right, bet. Hey, listen, right. hey, hey, listen, what's up, sir. Man? No, hey, nice meeting you, by the way. I just want to ask you one quick question, right? I don't want to take up too much of your time, but how, how's um how is the training Argentine and King? And you know, what do you what should you uh, what should Tasmanian Devil expect coming up in this fight? The training is going good, going great. You know, I like to work hard to everything that I've been working on my career, everything uh, that I learned in my career. I'm I'm trying, you know, to share with him. Also, you know, I have a degree in physical education teacher in sport performance. So it's not just about that I'm a, an athlete, you know, a professional boxer and all achievements that I have done in the past. It's also that I have, you know, knowledge in in physiology or, or in training. You know, I have fundamentals. So I'm trying to share everything with him. And he's going great. You know, he, he's that kind of guy that, the, he likes to do everything perfect. You know, he likes to wake up, uh, prepare his food, stay ready for training. He's a good student. You know, he always asks questions. He always tries to apply everything that we were on meets or or everything that we we talk about because we do a lot of analysis. We we like to watch videos. You know, I I I already saw you know the Tasmania Devil. Uh, and it's so funny, you know, that, that he's so disrespectful to to say that he's gonna spar with me, you know. So <laughs> that that's great, you know. That that's that's so funny. You you yeah, actually it's a blessing. You will actually end up in uh, ICU if you spar with him. I, I I'm not I'm not gonna spar with him. I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I want on you, man. You got push yourself. You said you want a little bit of bruises. You can you can get some bruises. Yeah, but you gotta be smart, bro. You don't wanna spar with him. Alrighty. And, and right, anyway, hey, look, mm -hmm. man. Look, I respect your coach, though. I don't know his name is, but look, I respect you, champ. Yeah, yeah. thank you. I, I respect you too. And look, uh, and hopefully you become like you know world champion in whatever division you're in, next few years or whatever, man. And like I said, I can bring you to my training camp next time. Yeah, but you can bring me to. You. Training camp to train you, but not for sparring. You know that that. Okay. You got you have to be born again to spar with me. You know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alrighty. But and... I knock you out in one round. You can come to Florida. Weather is nice. Um, food is still here. Uh, you can join us and prepare to whatever. Yeah, like, I will. I will more than glad to help you. You know to get better. So. Get better. So, so we knock him out in one round or two, two or one. <laughs> no, we. He, he got... needs help. I just think the king needs help. Like me, I'm good. I don't need a holiday in the West Palm or wherever it may be. I like to train in the cold. I like to train in the rain. I like this is where my mentality is. You like to train in the beach? That's all for you. You know, touch butt in the park? That's all for you. But for me, I train hard. Yeah, but like running at four in the morning, brother, is not going to do shit. So you got to train smart. So we, we are nice. I don't so run at four. Who, who's, been, who's been feeding you lies? I don't run a fool. Well, at five. So we're trying to help you out. Like I'll knock you out in one, two rounds, maybe like two. So, you know, it's a long trip to London. So you, we don't want to no, go. Three, three. Yeah, three. Hey, two. what's Thank your you. coach's name? What's your coach's name? Uh, Beto. So we're going to give you like two rounds. Um, So, you know, you can move around and, you know, have your hey. fun. Hey. Then I'll knock you out. And afterwards, I'll fly you out here and you can like get better. You know what I mean? We're nice. Hey, look, man. Hey, um, Berto, is it? Yeah. Berto. Look, man, be honest with me. Because he talks a lot of smack. And he talks a lot, you know. He, he always talks about knockouts and this. But has he has he been knocking people out bigger than him? Look at, look at this. My knuckle. That just shows you can't punch. That, oh. that just shows you can't punch properly. You, 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 need to get, you need to hit these two knuckles right here, man. This is where I you need to hit. So I, I, I get the whole... Why is this bruised? Why is this knuckle bruised, man? You've been punching wrong. No, I'm not. Berto, coach him properly, man. Tell him how to punch properly. Alrighty. And just to wrap it up right here, right? I want to ask both of you guys, you know, what's the final predictions on this fight? 
for me. Uh, I'm, I, I'm gonna go. Yeah, go on. So I, I, I'll knock you out in maybe. I'd say one round, but maybe it's a long trip, so we'll do like two rounds. We'll see how I feel on the night. Maybe I want to do like a quick job and knock you out in one round and then go to, you know, eat something and have some fun. So we'll see. We'll see how I feel, but I'd say either one or two rounds. Mm -hmm. Argentinian King. Devils? Argentinian King, come at your own demise. You talk about knockouts. That's how you. Know, that's how I know you ain't really in this game like that. You don't really know the game like that. Look, as for me, I don't really like knockouts. I, I've got the power, I've got the speed, but knockouts is a mercy killing for me. It stops the pain. I'm gonna break you down all night long, and I'm preparing for an all-out war for four rounds or however, five rounds, however many rounds there may be. So my advice to you is prepare for war. That's it. My guy, I've been a struggling my whole life. I'm from Argentina. I know from like the UK or like America and some like fancy places. I'm from Argentina. I'm, I'm from. You wouldn't even survive, brother. You'll go. I in grew the up in the mountains in a third world country. You wouldn't survive where I'm from. Like you moved to the UK when you were like how old? Like ten or something. Yeah, yeah. So then, like you, you haven't suffered, bro. I don't even. Oh. <laughs> if he. Can I ask a yeah. question? Why why you have been in boxing for for years? I don't know. You you What's box you, you box before, right? And you were out for a uh, a certain time, you know, like uh, five years out of boxing. Yeah, right? yeah. Why? Look, man, life happens. When life hits you, it hits you. Like I ain't complaining about that. But all I'm making is I have an opportunity now to correct my wrongs and make the best out of my life. Similar to the Argentinian king. He's, he's, you know, pursuing this fully and making the most of this opportunity. And look, whatever happens in the past, his past, my past, or whoever, whatever person has gone through in the past, it doesn't really matter. Like, but you just make the better decisions and try to make a better life for yourself and your family. Hopefully yeah. you learn, bro. Okay, take advantage about this opportunity. Alrighty, and then... Oh, so, oh, the oh, what is it? You oh. didn't hear what you said, Argentina. Take, King. take, take advantage about this opportunity, you know. I will do. I will do. Alrighty, and then to the Tasmanian Devil, right? What's your what's your uh prediction for the fight? Your fight. That's prediction. it, man. I just want an all-out war. That's all I'm seeking. I I want this to be an introduction of like a new misfits, a new era for misfits, because they're skilled fighters now in the in the game, and I want to change the game. That's, that's what I want. And I want to bring entertaining fights. I want to bring, you know, fan-friendly fights. You know, war toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And that's that's it. That's my prediction. It's going to be war. Alrighty. So, first face-off for my channel, right? Finally, we get to hear from the Tasmanian Devil and the Argentinian King. I'm honest, things got, man. Things got very spicy at the end, right? There's a lot on the line, like I said, in the face-off. If you guys want more videos just like this, Please subscribe for more content just like this.